Hey everybody, hi Daisies. Hi everybody on my YouTube channel that has stopped by to say hey. Um, I wanted to go, tell you guys about um, a dream that I had on July 22nd. Um, the dream was so profound to me and I feel like I'm being led to speak on it on my channel. Um, so in my dream, and I always have dreams like this. People know I have dreams like this and I always say that I never really want to speak on what I see and what I dream um, and what I hear because I know the Lord really talks to me. Now I've accepted the fact that he talks to me a lot and um, it's showing me a lot of dreams and visions and it's just a lot. So, um, but he has not given me more than I can bear. But anyway, so I had this dream on July 22nd. Um, and the dream was, and I know it's already a month later. I'm so sorry. I'm just not posting it because I've been pushed. Not really pushed, but kind of led to speak on it. So um, in the dream, I went shopping. I was not in my city that, I am at, that I'm in now, but I went shopping in the city that I used to live in, um, in South Florida. And um, I was leaving the store with uh, my kids and we got into my brother's car and my brother car my brother's car was parked in a way where his um the back of the car was facing the street so we just pulled into the parking spot so as we were getting ready to back out it was a lot of us in the car my sister-in-law was in the front seat um passenger seat and my brother was driving and then it was a lot of us in the back seat but the car was it was a car so the seats that i was sitting in was facing the back seat and the back seat was facing the front, um, the front seats. So it was like, you know, like a limo in a way. Um, anyway, so my daughter was sitting on my lap and my daughter at the time in the dream was maybe seven. She's right now, she's 10, she'll be 11. So in the dream, she um, is sitting on my lap. And so we were getting ready to leave and my brother wasn't able to back out. Um, because it was so many cars, they wouldn't let him back out. And then um, maybe like, I want to say five or 10 minutes of just sitting there, somebody finally let us out and onto um, the road. And it was like a two way road. So we were waiting to turn on. I don't know if you guys know um, Broward County that well, but the 17th Street Causeway, it was like a bridge like that. So we were, there was no traffic and we turned onto the street to go like towards the beach. Um, but at the top of the bridge, there was an ambulance rescue, fire rescue. And um, I saw a, a, one of my classmates from high school that I haven't seen in years. I have not seen him. I don't even know where he is right now. But I saw him in my dream and he was putting his mom on a stretcher. And I was looking at him, I was like, oh my God, how are you? Like. I was at the bottom of the bridge. We were in the car at the bottom of the bridge and I saw him at the top of the bridge. And so, um, and there was no ongoing or no traffic. It was just all dead stop. So we were going up now up the bridge and I saw him like pretty much take his mom that was on the stretcher, drag the stretcher down the, the road. And he was screaming, um, um, he was screaming and, and I was like, what was going on? What's going on? And he was like, it's happening. And I said, Oh my God, it's happening. So when I, when I said it's happening, I happened to look up in the sky and it was a big ball and it was like, um, panels on the side of the ball. And it was like, started to generate energy. And I was like, we are not ready. We have nothing ready. We're not ready. I told my daughter, call your dad. And I told my brother and my sister-in-law, call mommy, call, call everybody, call, call everybody. It's happening. It's, ha it's happening. And, and we're not ready. It's happening. And I just kept saying it's happening and, and we're not ready. We're not ready. We have no food. I kept saying, we have no food. We have nothing. We're not prepared. And, um, um, the traffic was starting to run like from the top of the bridge where the guy from my high school was coming down with his mom all the traffic started coming down. It was like the traffic that was supposed to go the way that we were going, the direction we were going, traffic was coming towards us and people were running. It was a big panic. And I just knew, I knew because I felt like I was looking at the ball and I remember a previous dream of the balls being placed 
like all around, just everywhere around the world. Just those balls like floating in midair, seems like. And it was just generating energy and it was starting to conduct energy and just something was happening. Something was happening and I could not figure out what it was, but I just kept saying, call everybody, warn everybody, we're not ready. We have no food stored. We have nothing stored. We're not ready. We have no, I just kept saying, we have no food and we're not ready. And then I woke up from that dream and it was so profound to me. Like I kept saying, oh my God. And I'm a couponer. You guys, if you guys looked at my previous videos, you will see that I have couponed um, and had a great stockpile. And I'm rebuilding my stockpile now. But um, the dream, it just made me think of now I'm in my home. I have so much space and it's time to store up. It's time to store up. Um, and I've been called or was told that I was a storehouse. So um, I was, a, I'm a storehouse. So I am planning to, um, I have already started storing up. I'll show you a clip of my, um, my water haul. I just been getting things purchasing items in, prepar in preparation for what I don't know. Uh, I'm ready to refresh and they drop it off where you want, wherever you want it. Yeah, I got 12 pieces and then I'm gonna go to Target and get the rest of my water. So oh, yeah, guys, get your water. Get ready to refresh. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you just want to drop it off. They drop it off for you. And here is the water. Twelve cases. Yep. And then I have these two right here um, to start. But this is so far what is happening. It's time to stock up, guys. Time to stock up. I'm sure God has given me dreams in the middle of the July 22nd to now that I can't remember right now because I'm doing this vlog about that dream. But um, I felt like that was such a prophetic dream. And I told my siblings, I told um, I told my mom about it. And I told a couple of people that I, I pray with um, on a daily basis to store up. And they said, oh, my God, Ermi, you know, that's funny that you said that because they've got the... Um, they've got the unction to start storing up stuff too. And they had like um, couponing hauls and things that they've already started to put together. So God had already, you know, God has shown me or in the dream, I was saying that I have no food stored up. So I bought cases of water so far and um, canned goods and um, looking for like, just, I don't know. I have no idea what it's, what's happening, but um, once I had that dream, a lot of people started sending me things saying that other people are having the same type of dreams or similar dreams of, you know, just people are not being prepared. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I mean, and I just recently, now that I think about it, I just recently had a dream of another virus being created. I had dreamt that I want to say last week or a few days ago, I dreamt of another virus being created. And, um, Oh, that gave me goosebumps. I, I just had another dream of some type of something being created. Another thing being created, guys. I don't know. Listen, I'm just being pushed or have the unction to or <laughs> want to be obedient and just let everybody know that this is a dream that I had. It's such a prophetic. It's a prophetic dream. Um, I've been told it was a prophetic dream, but um, if anybody have any comments on what they believe it's about, um, it's all, I believe, in connection to other dreams that people have been having because lately it's been the same or similar dreams of getting your house in order, storing up, storing up, um, building your home church, getting your home in order. Um, your home is your first ministry. Get get that together. Um, the COVID-19 has shown us that we, that church being in a building is not it. Being in a building for me right now is not it. It's, it's really, truly having a relationship with God for myself without any other, um, without any other biases and any other people telling me what it should be a following tradition. I, I know I, I, 
really truly believe I hear God for myself. And God showed me my eyes are like really opening up to see the things that I never, ever, ever would have imagined. Um, I definitely am humbled. I definitely am not smarter than God. I know nothing <laughs> when it comes to the things of God as far as like, God, I want you to teach me, teach me every day, teach me every day, restart, reset button. It's like, I need to know the things of God from God himself. So, um, and if God uses somebody to speak to me, I will hear it loud and clear. Um, but I will definitely discern and um, my place right now is to grow in God. Um, I'm learning a lot, guys. I'm learning a lot. My thoughts have changed a lot. God has shown me even more. Um, the gift will make room for you. So my gift is pretty much growing, I would say. And it's making room for me. Um, and it's given me the opportunity to see that I can go ahead and reach out to my community and um, help and serve my community, help and serve the people that are in need. Um, and as, as I do so, God will give me the provision to maintain that. Um, I look at right now, God is the one to do it for me for every single thing, for everything for everything it just makes me want to sing that song um this is the air i breathe your holy presence that song y'all know that song <laughs> i love that song but anyway so he is the air i breathe um and i'm really trying to get back in tune it's been moments where i just want to run away but i can't because god you got a hold on me and I must do what he says. So hopefully you guys um, I can probably interpret the dream. Tell me what you think it is. I pray that God give me the gift to interpret dreams as well. But um, yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that prophetic dream. So drop a comment. Let me know if you had a dream as well. Let me know. I'm, I'm interested in hearing from other people and getting that connection. Um, yeah, so. Thank you for coming on to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. And thank you, thank you, thank you um, for subscribing. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace.